nice deep casual breath in and out. And we thank you for anchoring and for grounding and for making and creating the fundament for us to play upon. We are back and we are excited about continuing this conversation with you. How can we be of service to you? Thank you and welcome back. Thank you so much. Uh, before we start with the questions, I just want to make a quick comment on something interesting that I observed. Okay. Um, in your loving presence, I can also notice my right brain. I can feel my right brain and its activity. Yes. Um, can you comment on that <laughs> so I can understand what's going on there a little bit more? Well, you mentioned it in the little break that you just had to the channel as well, and she confirmed that that is what she feels as a C channels as well. So you're tuning in with the wavelength on which we are communicating with both of you simultaneously, because understand that the audio, so to speak, is slower than the actual answers being given. She is translating for us mm -hmm. what we are sending as one compact, you could say, block of information to her mm -hmm. in answering your questions in this physical level through the idea of audio and sound. So the actual answer, the actual communication is taking place in a non-physical way before it gets translated into your physical realm. Mm -hmm. Now, the right brain half is known to be you could say the antenna or as you have collectively agreed upon to believe the antenna for the intuitive the creative the feminine the imagination part of your brain structure it is reflecting these elements back to you in that way because you have agreed collectively that that is what that particular part of the brain reflects back to you Hmm. By doing the EEG tests and so forth, people being creative, you see this part, you could say, flaring up on the scans, mm -hmm. you understand? Yep. But really, of course, you're using your whole brain the whole time, but you make it seem as if you're only using a small part of the brain the whole time. <laughs> Why would I do that though? Why would you all do that? Yeah. You do that, all of you, because it serves you in the game that you're playing. <sighs> but as you have begun to investigate further and with scientific measurement systems such as the EEG, mm -hmm. you have come to find a way to find imagery mm -hmm. that reflects to you what's actually going on electromagnetically speaking inside the brain as you think or act or do certain things or say certain things mm -hmm. and you're feeding yourselves these pictures these reflections that show to you a slide you could say of the reality that you've chosen to be focused in but when you dream all of your brain is activated mm. okay you will see a lot more activity the highest peaks of activity are there while you're dreaming mm. in a certain state of your dreaming states so you will find that within that wavelength which is again contraction expansion expansion contraction and so forth which is how you have decided to connect to the physical realm within you use a kind of pulse you could say like we said before when you speak to the higher self there is this constant messaging going to the non-physical and the answering of the non-physical mm -hmm. to the idea of the physical mm -hmm. with that type of pulsation in that evolution your physical brain is the receiver not the creator of the information mm -hmm. not even the storage of it mm -hmm. but it is the receiver and it plays along the game that you've chosen to play of hide and seek <laughs> in this physical realm where you pretend as if it is all there mm -hmm. and it is located in certain parts of the brain mm -hmm. 
but you needed that brain mapping, you could say, and so also the division between right and left, yeah. in order to understand the differentiation from coming from a more holistic point of view and a more one-sided point of view that is more mentally or persona self-oriented. And now we're speaking of the persona self version that is still old paradigm oriented. Okay. So you gave yourself a brain map, but eventually you will find a blending occurring. So as you unfold in your consciousness and evolve, this mapping will become less relevant and the brain also in the EEGs taken in the future, you could say, mm -hmm. will appear more homogenous, mm. will be more active all over the place because you will have balanced out the extremes and found your inner balance, the center point, and allow yourself, again, it's a state of allowing, right? Mm -hmm. To have more information consciously be available mm -hmm. for you in any given moment in time. So as you expand your bandwidth, your conscious awareness, the brain will also reflect that back to you okay you see yes that makes sense so what you're feeling right now really fits in very beautifully clicks in very beautifully with where you are as a human species in your evolution yeah and reflects back to you that what you're connecting into tapping into right now resonating with allowing through is this intuitive mm. imagination layer that is constantly communicating with you, but now highly activated because of your excitement and your curiosity regarding the answers that we are just about to deliver every time you <laughs> ask a question. It's as if you energetically reach out and tune in and get it before you even hear it. Oh my God. And that's what you physically feel. You have just right now <laughs> created for yourself a confirmation of that particular process taking place in your body. Wow. But you're feeling yourself. Yeah. You feel yourself reaching out and climbing up, allowing yourself to resonate on a frequency dimension closer to ours. Mm. So thank you. Thank you. Are you enjoying it? I am very much enjoying it. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. Um, thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, so we're just going to jump on to the topic of DNA activation. Yes. It's a, a topic that's becoming very popular, especially in spiritual communities. And there's a lot of talk about activating your DNA and how many DNA strands you have active. But what does it really mean? And what, how can we use the theme of DNA activation in a way that serves us? Or is it even necessary? It is an automatic side effect of your evolution in that sense. You and your journey into the heightening of your energy frequency, the physical reflection of that, just as a more homogenous, you could say, acting of the brain or receiving, better put, of the brain antenna, reflects back into the entire body, every single cell, the whole of it, by slight alterations in your DNA, and yes, you could call them activations because these possibilities have always been within you. Mm. And remember, a good part of your DNA is extraterrestrial and hasn't been actively put to use, you could say, in your reality for a long time. Okay. You are all hybridized in that sense. <laughs> and now we are referring back to the idea of the Anunnaki. Mm. So a lot of that was consciously woven into the Homo erectus that they found on your planet of Earth when they created Homo sapiens, as you know yourselves to be right now. Mm -hmm. And they deliberately chose to have certain aspects of their own DNA be tempered, you could say, mm. or we're looking for the correct translation put to snooze <laughs> for the time being as they understood you would have to be 
on a different energy wavelength, mentally, emotionally, completely, for these aspects of your DNA to flourish and bloom okay. within you. But this is a side effect of your awakening, you could mm. say, and it comes with all types of interesting manifestations depending on the person. It is and can express very differently for any given human being. But of course, a heightened sensitivity, being more aware of any particular energy shift in your surroundings, your bigger self really, is part of that. A more awake registering of information that is being given to you intuitively a more conscious dream state, a more immediate telepathic mm. experience with other human beings or animals or trees, your nature, your planet. All of these things are manifestations, reflections of you soothing, relaxing into all mm. that you really are. And your DNA contains, you could say, a part of these antennas and so much more. Wow infinite possibilities absolutely that's amazing yes <laughs> um thank you so much for that um a different topic is about maintaining a high vibration so a lot of people are really enjoying raising their vibration and feeling more of the higher vibrational feelings but often feel discouraged when they're surrounded by other people who might not be at the same vibration and oftentimes people can feel like other people's vibration is lowering their vibration which I understand might be an illusion because we choose ourselves which vibration to be at yes but you're choosing to match theirs in that moment exactly but sometimes people can feel like it's out of it's it's being done like out of their control. Yes, but it isn't. Would you, how would you what kind of advice would you give to people who feel like it's out of their control? And Ask yourself the question: Why would you choose to match it? Ah. Or ask yourself. Why are you choosing to feel this particular way in response to what you're observing over there? Mm. And sometimes people are choosing to match it because they feel they're impolite if they don't. And they feel they can't communicate with another person if they're not on the same wavelength. And up to a certain degree, that may very well be true. Yeah. And they may not be heard or received, let's say, completely by the person that is on a lower energy wavelength than them if they choose not to alter their energy frequency, but they can still speak and bring a message of love and say, I'm here for you. And when you're ready to share from a slightly different angle, perhaps you can speak to me, mm. but though I love you, I really do. And I always will. And I always have in one way or another. I'm choosing to not go to your point of view, the angle that you're approaching this particular subject from right now, because it simply doesn't resonate with me. Mm. Thank you. That's one way to go about this. Mm -hmm. But when you feel discouraged by people around you because they're on a slightly lower or much more lower energy wavelength than you, then you're judging the situation right there. So you're pushing mm. against what is. Yes. So we would start by saying, stop with pushing, see it is what it is. Mm. Breathe into that, perhaps see it as a fun challenge more than something to feel defeated by. Mm. Because you manifested this. Mm -hmm. You manifested this, you put them there for you to encounter, for you to interact with in this way. So you gave yourself an invitation to respond in a way that feels most in highest alignment with your higher self. What would that way be? What would that way truly be? Mm. And we understand that sometimes the response may be a little bit out of the box. And for some people, it may also be to retreat or walk away or simply do something else. Mm -hmm. And because they don't believe they can do that, 
because it would be impolite or you name it. Mm -hmm. That's why they start feeling annoyed or discouraged. Ah, uh, yeah. Because they're putting themselves in a cage. Because remember, you feel only you. You feel your energy frequency. So if you feel something being off or tipped over, in you, it's you. And you're feeling that way because of something you choose to believe in that moment. Mm -hmm. It's not actually caused by the people around you. Yeah. You're allowing it to manifest that way because you choose something to be true in that moment about mm -hmm. what you're observing. So get to know yourself. <laughs> this is the one and ultimate answer know thyself yeah. so that when you know yourself you can see why you're choosing to feel a particular way in any particular moment and then you can choose the belief system because no emotion exists onto itself mm. they're an immediate result of something you're choosing to believe to be true so find the belief system that is below it beneath it interesting and play around with that if that feels like fun in that moment. Yeah. Thank you. I feel like that's a very empowering answer for a lot of empaths out there who still wish to find a way to still be empathetic to other people. Yes. Um, but, yeah. It may seem hard to be empathetic in that sense if you judge or limit, better put, your definition of empathy mm. and you say it needs to look a certain way mm. because you obligate yourself to do certain things that aren't actually in alignment with your higher self in that moment yeah. potentially don't push don't pull just yeah. be mm. and feel from the beingness from the core of yourself what it is that feels most natural to you to do in that moment come from a state of inspiration amazing Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, so, a lot of people are warming up to the idea of extraterrestrial contact. Oh, cozy. Yes. Um, and right now, most of the interaction, as far as where a lot of people are aware of, comes through channelers like Vitika and Bashar and many other amazing channelers out there. Yes. Um, I was curious. Or that's what it seems like, at least, at the surface level. Yes. <laughs> um, so I have a bit of a, of, a, of a different question that it might seem it, like it defies laws of physics. But I'm very curious if we can use our technology to interact with you more, or to allow humanity to interact with you. We're even already more. using your technology to interact with you. Are you? Yes. If you allow yourself to remember that you are the dimensional reality that you believe to be living in, then every single object, every single circumstance, every situation is a reflection of something that is within you. Now then we, don't we too, come from within you? And don't you think that we know how to play with Facebook now and then? <laughs> Haven't you noticed particular <laughs> synchronicities popping up on your <laughs> Google searches and your computer programs and your games? Are you doing that? <laughs> a lot of the things that pop up that are in alignment with the idea of ET contact or disclosure and a lot of jokes particularly <laughs> are being played out with you through what you understand to be your electrical devices, yes. That is amazing. And social media is definitely a part of that. So you do currently interact with us through our social media? We interact with you in all possible ways that you allow us to interact with you already. Wow. That's amazing. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So your intention has been heard for anyone listening as well. Anyone who has the heartfelt intention, the genuinely felt excitement, to learn more about their own interstellar cross connections in whatever way, shape or form you wish to look at that, or the idea of disclosure or open contact, we have received your invitation loud and clear. And we will, if you are open to receive it, play with you on that topic in whatever way is relevant for you at this moment in your life. 
Wow. You decide how wide those doors are opened and in how many ways we get to hang with you. <laughs> thank you so much for confirming your presence. Oh, thank you. It's very... For letting it in. <laughs> and for realizing that it is not just confined to the idea of these translations and transmissions mm. through biological vessels that you see as your fellow human beings. Yes. <laughs> the ones with balls enough to say that there are a biological telephone for <laughs> ET. That's amazing. Um, so just a follow-up question to that, yes. just to make it a little bit more fun. Okay, we're all in for that. Yes. Would it be then possible for just to, to as a permission slip to, to open up for humanity to, to see and, and believe that we can interact with you, could I, for example, buy you a phone and leave it out for you to pick up and take with you and <laughs> have you create a social media profile as for example Arjun so that people can through their own phones message you through a social media platform just to warm up people a little bit more to the idea of interacting with you directly why go such a big way around it Mm. After we just said we're already interacting with you through your social media and that the messages that you receive are custom made for every single one of you. See what you're asking here is to make it a particular shape, to make it look one way. Yeah. So that all others together with you can confirm that this is what quote unquote my profile looks like. But you're racing by the idea that where you are right now in your evolution you are asking, and now we're talking about what you need, not necessarily what you want, mm -hmm. but you're asking for reflections that have strong impact on your personal lives. Mm. So you get them, every single one of you, in the way that serves you best, you see. Mm -hmm. So this particular way right now, as we're reading the energy frequency of the planet and the human consciousness that you're communicating with and from and through doesn't have great momentum for this particular scenario to play out in that particular way even though it is possible even though we understand it makes absolutely no sense for that phone <laughs> to even work <laughs> from our dimension towards yours it wouldn't but since it's all a permission slip it's possible yeah Phones don't actually really work anyway. You see. <laughs> Even amongst yourselves. Just giving you a little secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> it's because you believe that through the idea of electricity you can connect and actually be openly and vocally telempathic oh. with your human fellow beings. Yeah. That that device works to begin with. Oh my God. But you're using the excuse of your technology to make it have <laughs> correction, to have it make sense to the rational mind. Mm. Okay. So it could be done, chances are small though, at this particular moment reading the energy right now, that it would be done in that particular way. Yeah. But who knows? Mm. <laughs> but our faces, referring to the idea of Facebook, may appear quite different to some of you where you are right now so the one profile picture wouldn't be as effective as the way we are communicating with you right now okay where you are lured within not outside mm. you see mm -hmm. you understand yes does that help that helps a lot okay thank you thank you um i just have a couple personal questions okay um I have been connecting with what I believe is a version of my quote unquote future self, even yes. though everything happens in the now. Understood. Um, and from the information that I've received, uh, what I've received is that she's on a spaceship 
and she watches over Gaia, the planet. Yes. And it's what's come up is sort of her kind of a title is a progress checker. She kind of just wants to make sure that everything is kind of going okay. Yes. And um, I well feel perceived. like well perceived. Okay. Continue. Uh, yeah. So in 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 alignment or at the same time, I've also received the image of the eye of the providence. Okay. Uh, which also has a meaning of watching over humanity, which is what she is doing. Yes. So I think I want to ask this question because I still have doubts whether these kind of inf this kind of information that I receive, if it's if I am just my mind is just crazy and I'm just making up stuff in my mind, or is this actually quote unquote true? If that makes sense. Well, you're making everything up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it has just as much validity as anything else that you're making up in that sense. What is it that you choose to feed your energy into? Mm. With what kind of energy frequency have you been perceiving these two strings of information so far? What did it make you feel is what we're asking. Very grateful. Okay. So do you like that feeling? Yes. So then feed that energy back into what you've been perceiving and see what it brings you next. Okay. Allow it to grow, allow it to expand so that it can make itself obvious to you. Because you are speaking to yourself in a grander way through these reflections mm -hmm. that you've been offering yourself from a neutral point of view, a neutral point of view, for your persona self to do with whatever feels in alignment in any given moment. So you can discard it and say that it is nonsense, you're free to do so. Mm -hmm. Or you can embrace it and send it in return, you could say, the reflection of your gratitude and see what that excitement then begins to propel into action and where that leads you. Because you're communicating with yourself eventually. Mm. Okay. But we can also confirm that the description in your words, in your language, with the words that you have in your vocabulary at your demand right now, were very well picked and that this future version of you, parallel incarnation, within in fact our own society of the Yahyel has been perceived correctly and she is keeping track of humans process on your planet. Does she have a name? Not in the way you use names. No. But she is open to co-create one with you. Oh. If you would like to call her by something, she says. Okay. We're connecting right now. Wow. So she says, pick if you want. You have connected many times before and more information will follow. But regarding the idea of a name, right? Mm -hmm. Pick something that you love, preferably from nature. Hmm. Send it to her as a suggested name, symbol, to call her by, and she will let you know. Through synchronicity, maybe even through your phone. <laughs> Whether she likes that name or not so much, and you will figure out something to call her by. Wow, amazing. You will know. And again, like you said before, note the tingling in your right brain half, because you may use that a few more times as a form of confirmation on your side. Wonderful. Thank yes. you. Yes. Fun game? It is super fun. Okay. <laughs> She's looking forward. Oh, so am I. Um, and is there a way for me to, with no insistence, but to further strengthen the communication that I, that I have with her in a way that I can be more of assistance to what I'm doing in my, in my current now. Okay, well, you know the formula. 
Ah. That answers this question too. Okay. Follow your heart, follow your highest excitement to the best of your ability until you can take it no further. <laughs> and then follow it into the next opportunity or invitation that comes to the service for you in the same way and again and again and again with zero insistence mm. as to what the outcome ought to be. Mm -hmm. Because it is that particular simple formula, really it is just that, okay. that brings you into perfect alignment with your higher self. And as you bring yourself into that perfect alignment and you allow yourself to be yourself, the fullest version of who you already are, you will see reflections of that shine back to you and you will automatically be of the fullest form of assistance that you can possibly be to whomever might possibly need assistance mm -hmm. from you. And you will automatically guide yourself into the direction of all the things that you are truly, truly heartfelt, excited about and that are relevant for you in the theme of your human exploration. Mm. You will allow it to flow through you more effortlessly because it's already there. It's asking you to allow it through. Mm. It's only by your own belief systems that things are impossible or need to cost more work or have to look more complicated <laughs> that you're pushing them away, mm. that you're keeping them on hold. Like we just said before, a little bit in between already, she has been communicating with you quite a bit. Mm. And she's excited about the two of you through a playful way finding a type of name for her mm. so that you can more consciously through the adieu, the permission slip of that name, communicate with her. Mm -hmm. Whatever excites you into the direction of open contact, take action upon that mm. and see where it takes you. Again, but you already said that and we thank you for it, but for anybody else tuning in with zero insistence <laughs> as to what the outcome might be. Yes. Okay. So yes. whatever form that excites me the most with no insistence that could potentially lead to more of a communication with her, I'll just It act, doesn't act matter on. what it will lead yeah. to. Yeah. Whatever excites you the most in any given moment regarding the idea of contact now. Yeah. Disregarding where it might lead to. That that doesn't matter. That's the part, uh. you know insisting on a particular outcome. Yes. There is no outcome relevant in that sense. Not in this here and now. The here and now only relevance is for you to be the full version of who you can be right now. Mm -hmm. You know that when you're completely in love, head over heels, and you're just in the moment with that other person over the activity or nature, whatever makes you feel in that high love frequency state, in that moment, you're not wondering what will happen in the next five minutes <laughs> or worried about what happened yesterday. Mm. So it's about this here and now moment. It's that energy frequency. It's that wavelength that if you allow yourself to act upon what seems most excited and exciting to you in every single here and now without insistence as to what the outcome might be, you're lining up with your higher energy frequency, with your higher self and you're being the fullest version of you and then everything, everything and everyone that is relevant for you will flow to you or better said through you mm. and into your observable reality more and more and more. You will send yourself synchronicities first to soothe yourself into it most likely, this is what <laughs> most of you do. A little joke here and there, a little pun, a little lining up of things mm -hmm. and then boom <laughs> there we are <laughs> as if it has never been any other way wow it may truly feel like that for those of you who have been doing the pre-paving you could say mm. of disclosure in that way mm. it won't feel as if you still need to push and pull or do anything in that sense to create it because you will be allowing it through mm. by acting on your highest excitement whatever that may look like for you in integrity towards yourself and other people in any given moment as far as you can take it until you can take it no further with zero insistence as to what the outcome ought to be yes wow yes thank you thank you and i feel like that's a beautiful and powerful rounding up 
um, of asking these questions. I want to say thank you so, so much. It's wonderful to be in your presence and I feel like these answers are really gonna help a lot of people and allows us to continue this playing with you as we move forward. And we thank you so very, very much as well from the bottom of all of our hearts. It has been a conversation full of wonder for us too. Mm -hmm. We wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Namaste.